I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Mekamaru's case. Was Nagito really telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth? That's something we can only find out later. So, telephone? No? I thought we were going to do that. I guess not. Um, so, Chiaki, what's on your mind? Well? We should go back to Mechamara's investigation, too. If we don't hurry, the class trial starts soon. Alright, not sure what else there is to do, though. I mean, where else can we go? Let's just head down to the first floor. Maybe already everybody else has arrived or something? <laughs> I returned from the depths of hell! Ah, Gundam, what's up? Gundam! Yo! Yo, so we're late. Hey. Just so y'all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey! Are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here! Hey. More importantly, so we can. Did you look into the matter I asked you about? Huh? Oh, that thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. What compass was that again? I honestly don't remember. You stay quiet. Didn't ask for your opinion, just tell me the results. When did you become so cocky? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. Oh, 180 degrees, that means... How's that even possible? Unless you went up, in which case you're different. You're on different floors, if that's the case. The needle rotated 180 degrees? <laughs> I see, it's just as I thought. Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, that's obvious. Obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? Now then. I should go investigate Mekamaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way toward Grape Tower. Oh my. Hell's wrong with him? Does he seem pissed off or something? Yeah, I think so. I think he's mad that Hajime doesn't have a real talent. Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? So we can't account. Let's double check that. Let's double check it. Um, so it cans. Apparently the compass's needle spun 180 degrees while it was inside the contact elevator. Holy shit! What does that mean? Only time will tell. And our pet. Oh, first poop. Congratulations, Usami. You pooped. All right. Um, so I guess we're checking out the elevator now, or what? Hmm. As soon as I came over here, I checked this first, but it looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel? Hey. Uh, might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of it from Nagito. Of course you did. Are you sure you don't have telepathy? They they broke the elevator by tampering with the sample de safety device. Right? Safety device? What am I even saying? Sample you begin with you, right? Right. Oh, it looks like we're challenged fast. Check with the panel over there. Just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel, and I changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. Definitely looks like the panel is forced open. Which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Intriguing, intriguing, intriguing. Yeah, that would make sense! If Grape House is underneath Strawberry House, because that's how the Final Dead Room would work. He'd go through the Final Dead Room, and then he'd drop down here. That's why it rotates 20 degrees. So are these the same room at all? Maybe that was the idea from the beginning. We were supposed to think they were the same room. Maybe they're not even the same room at all. In which case, Monokuma just moved our uh, notebook just to make us think they were. Maybe somebody else tampered with it. I don't know. Either way, uh, it is not back and forth. It's up and down. What are your thoughts on this, Chiaki? Hey, hey. I guess Nagito is like a tardy detective. What? What are you talking about? See? It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to the crime scene late, just to make an important discovery. But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. That's true. He's such a troublesome person. Lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. Well? I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something to be completely overlooked. Yeah. He's really smart, even if he's crazy. <laughs> I made you wait. Judgment. Time has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Or illustrations. Whatever the word he said was. Wasn't paying full attention. Did I ever try to go to the bathroom with Nagito? Oh, damn it. Missed opportunity if I didn't. Damn right. Mechamar should be inside Grape Tower. Yeah. I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. 
All right. Um, so I'm assuming I can't go up the stairs. No, oh, holy shit, I can. Okay. So can we see where everyone is now on the map? Where is everybody? Um, nobody's in here. And then if we go over here... Uh, everybody's there, and then there's... One, two, three, plus four is, uh, seven, plus me is eight, and Mechamaru's dead, so that's basically everybody. Alright. So let's just go back down, then. Let's stop beating around the bush. I beat around the bush long enough during that stupid examination investigation thing in Majigger Bobber thing. So, what's the happenings? So what's left to examine? Are we almost done? You serious? Mechamaru, are you serious? Damn it! I don't know who did this. This is seriously fucked up. Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Yeah, but you're an idiot with no talent, so we can't trust you. Well. Wow. Oh, yeah, and there's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan's no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? But soda can should be able to smell the body, right? Oh, nice! Loophole! Yeah? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you gonna disassemb disassemble Mechamaru's body? Well, yeah, it'd be one way to be useful. You're the new, you're the new nurse. I won't forgive you. Don't screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekamaru been through enough already? Shut up. You could be trying to hide evidence. We just need to get to the bottom of this. You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find who the killer is. Perhaps you don't want to know, Akane? Maybe you don't care about what happened to Mechamaru? Damn it! Yeah, shut your trap. You stay quiet. You suck at using your brain. You really want to know who the killer is. Try not to interfere so much. Yeah, you're being not just condescending to me, but to everyone. What's up? Did you find out you're secretly not the ultimate lucky student or something? Or, Man, I don't know. Damn it. Ugh. Jeez. Come on, soda cans. What are you standing there for? Ah. Uh. Fine. Just have to do it, right? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. Not like this. It's just too much. Well... Are you guys feeling okay, K2? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Yeah, he's being so condescending now. What happened? You know, there's definitely something different with you. Yeah, there's always something wrong with him. But different is the better word. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... It seems like that's not entirely the case. He's treating everyone differently. His attitude toward everyone is strange now, too. But why? That is a good question. I thought that, too. I thought he was treating you like shit and just you, because you have no talent, but... He's treating everyone like that. No, not the wall! The Sonya! I wanted to talk to the Sonya! Terribly sorry, simply cannot investigate Nekomar's body. And Jockey? But still. I'm sure it's painful for a sort of cans to do something like this, but we can't let this go to waste. We need to find something, no matter what. And Akane? She's staring at Nekomar's body with terrifying eyes. Hey, blood's dripping from your fist! I'm good. Nothing. I was just holding back my anger and dug my nails into my palm. Ouch. That's why she cut them. I know girls don't do that a lot. I don't get that. Is to paint them? You don't look like the painting kind. Damn it. Nothing. It doesn't hurt at all. Compared to Mechamaru. Kane. I won't forgive you. Never forgive the killer. I'll beat him up so bad they'll never walk again. And what about you, Sorkans? Damn it. Come so far. There's no way I can get some all the time like this. Feel all for Mechamaru, but this is necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind this case! As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth, Sodakans faced Mechamaru, whose eyes full of determination began stabbing his tool knife into Mechamaru's body. But where'd you get the tool knife? Huh? Nagato gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. So Nagato did that too. It's like Nagato has full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to his head is, is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso was covered in huge dents, and his parts were dislocated. Maybe a gear shaft broke, too? For now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? That's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Jeez. Now's not the time to be staring at space. Don't let me repeat myself. Yeah, what happened to you? I thought he was just, yeah. That is the question. Fine. Even mongers like you possess a soul, and that soul resides within your heart. 
But no matter how hard you search the insides of this machine, you will never find a heart. You don't know that! Or do you mean that just because he's dead? What happened, sinner? So where did Nakamura's soul wander off to? It's interesting to think about, don't you agree? Alright, Mechamara's body, here we come. Apparently, Soda Cans has finished disassembling Mechamara's body. I should probably check it out one more time. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, nothing new except for the chest. Mechamara's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. But it's not 7.30 right now, that's for sure, I don't think. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. I see. Which means the clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. In other words, when he was struck, which means he died at 7.30. Which should have been after 5.30. Unless the clocks were altered. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, and Guido thought about that too. But also because... Um, uh, it makes sense uh, because Monokuma said everyone was late, not just uh, the other guys, so. Intriguing indeed. Clock's alarm timer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? Yes, it is indeed. Let's check it again, though. Uh, clock's alarm timer. Nekomar uses this alarm clock to recover from sleep mode. Clock's alarm was stopped at around 7.30, and the alarm was set to the 7.30 as well. Of course! It must have set off the AC and done the overload! Case 1! Bleh! Okay. I mean, we should have arrived at Great Tower just before 7am for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No way. This is a highly efficient radio clock! Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right. It's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. I've been become a time lord! Wow. Rip, Nekamaru. We'll miss you. Now, even if it's an accurate call, they need to install inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. An accurate radio clock. Never slows down, huh? That's the case. Why is this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? That <laughs> It's got the chest thing. Uh, he looks alive! That's the saddest thing ever! The clock in Nekomaru's chest receives radio waves at fixed intervals and automatically adjusts itself if its time is off. Basically, it's an amazing precise clock that can't be tampered with, not even to set the time. Yeah. And yet somehow, it's different than the time as we know it. So, what's left? Should we back off for now? Yes. Is that it? What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Mechamara's body. It almost seems like he's glaring at him. Is he thinking he might have committed suicide? What's up? Dude. You're the worst. This is the worst. Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear you're just the worst. Where did this come from? I liked you when you thought everyone was cool. Now you're getting weird. There's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well... I found this under a fragment of the pillow that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. It looks like there's... are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Don't you think it's strange? See? If we examine the far back door in Great Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mentioned it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Well... It might make sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out how? You don't know? We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. It's the only way we can see the other side of the door, right? But the button to the door in Starbucks Hill is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Being hopeful for once. Wow. You're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Starbucks Hall. 
I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> well, you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Mechamaru's body? Aw. Oh, Nagito, that's just cold. But, yeah, you're kind of right, so I can't really argue with you. See? Just use Mechamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Hold on! You saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> There's that crazy face I haven't seen in a while. I love it. It's called recycling. It's a much better alternative than just disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk? Hey. Well, soda cans, is it possible or not? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair the button, but... Seriously. Seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry. What does that mean? It means the door is connected to different places. These places aren't connected at all, and he knows that in advance, which is why we don't need to worry about it. Now then. So we, can, we should go over to Strawberry House so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hajime, you're gonna come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. Alright. Broken door was bad to the truth bullets. Huh? What happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm. Who knows? Damn right. That reminds me, Nagito and Soda Cans. Nagito. Nagito has Soda Cans do something weird for him, right? Yep. That's something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it can mean. Hey. And actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. Clocks? I. So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. Or maybe all of the clocks had their times messed up. Why do you ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. Probably it's the opposite. All of them were messed up. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't know. You look stumped, Chiaki. I really hope you can figure this out. I mean, Nagito's great and all, but if he doesn't tell us shit, then we need your help. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of the mysteries. Maybe. Jeez. You're pathetic. Well, so that's all we can do. Let's head over. Nah, uh, don't call Chucky pathetic. Screw you. You're right. When Nagito said about the door opening, what does he plan to do about the chain? There won't be a chain. Looks like it won't come off easily. So does Nagito have a plan or something? I don't understand this at all. I think the idea is, even though we're in the same room, I think we're on different floors. Like, if we go down a bunch, we find the other floor, right? Which is why, even though the room will still detect if someone's in it and won't open, um, the chain won't matter, because it's two different doors. Uh, wait, no. First, let's talk to everybody. Because you gotta. You gotta. Especially when there's so few people. No, 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 no. I won't forgive you. Never forgive the killer. I'll beat him up so bad they'll never walk again. And then Fuyihiko? Jeez. Google Files News for it all. Every time we get one, the information is all half-assed. Fine, fine. Let me clarify. Don't get me wrong. Well, I'm sorry to say that. I need you all to understand. What? Hey, hey. You purposely don't write anything specific enough to leak the killer's identity on purpose, right? G yes. <laughs> hey, um. If I wrote something like that, you'd be able to find out who the blackened is. That's right. If that happens. The class trial won't get heated up. You stupid brother. You shouldn't have prepared it in the first place. Me, such a dumb child. Stupid little sister, you don't understand at all. Number of fans who are eagerly waiting for the moment I present the Monokuma file. Yeah. Is over 100,000! It's a big number. A hey. hundred thousand people? You're just trying to scare me with made up numbers. That's not made up. <laughs> it's true. I have proof, you know. Very nice. Well, you wise guys should already know that. You mean the people who played the first game? Hey! No, they shouldn't! <laughs> you make me say it, it's embarrassing! You're so evil! I'm not! Why do they come here again? Should have kept my mouth shut. Now I'm just exhausted. Shiaki? But still. I'm sure, it's painful for so can't do something like this too. Okay, let's go to the waste. You need to find something no matter what. And Sonya. 
Same thing or something new? Terribly sore, so we kind of... Okay. Let's go. Let's do it! To the other side and away! Woohoo! Oh, everybody. Oh, I guess I'm talking to everybody. Fuck! It's just, I could just not, but... If you flinch, you will die! Land of the Dead, Strawberry Tower! Okay, everyone has one liner of things, please. Damn it. Can't do anything. Never paid him back. Can't even stop Nekomar from being used as evidence. <laughs> nice. Sorry. Morbid, but whatever. Still funny. Super difficult. Along with the Dora matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding that we don't understand. If we go Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. That is, if we can really enter from the other side. How cruel. Why would Nikito say such cruel things? Uh. You know, we know, would not talk like that, right? He might kill people, but he wouldn't talk like that. It's as if he's a different person altogether. I think he's right. He is definitely acting strange, but why? Good question. What was in those files? What did he find out? He definitely knows something we don't. Damn right. So everyone's left. As long as Soda can't finish his work, we should be able to open the door in Strawberry Hall. There's still a chain, you know. It's not that if it's not removed, we won't be able to open the door. That's right. Gito Bastard, what in the world is he thinking? We don't need to remove the chain because it's two different doors. Um, he said the elevator. Monokuma, the lying bastard. He said the elevator doesn't go vertically, but that's all it does. Jeez. All right, let's just go in, right? Yeah. Let's just go in. Thanks to Soda Can's elevator is working now. Let's go. We walked into the elevator. Where's Nagita? Oh, is he using his secret path? Of course. Or did they already go? Did they already go to the other side? Well, if Soda Kansas isn't here, then I assume so. Made our way to Starbright House. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. What's up? You're here! Hey, hey. Soda Kansas, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> well, the damage just wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. You? You had a lot of nerve saying that when you use Mechamari's parts, but without my permission. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What'll happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so. No way it'll open. You haven't done anything with the chain. Hey. The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nekomar's body was blocked up by that chain, remember? You didn't do anything about that. It doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. You. It's not even worth trying it out! No, we've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, we should give it a shot. He's smart. Yep. That'd be great. Okay, talk to everyone again. Final dead room, let's do it! <laughs> There's no time for you to fool around, you know. Didn't I tell you not to pull my leg? Perhaps you didn't hear me? <laughs> oh, fine then. Why you become such a jerk? You were a fun, evil guy before. Now you're being condescending and stuff. Yeah. I miss the fun Nagito. Now he's all condescending and stuff. He's the new Biakri. No. I am concerned. If it will satisfy Nagito, we should try it out at the very least. You pissed me off. Just hurry up and make Nagito happy. Oh, make him very happy. Bash the wow wow. Door opens unless it's changed on the other side. We all know where this is going. Is there anyone else around? No? No? Okay, let's go. Um, everybody. Oh, okay. Jockey first. Hmm. She's really confident about it. I wonder why. Maybe you know something. Fine. No need for the skyline limitation art of the demon mouse. I shall let you fiends press the button. <laughs> In other words, he's not going to do it again. Huh? Just so y'all know, my repairs are perfect. Door doesn't open. It's because of the chain, you know. <laughs> Excuses. Hey. Now then, you can hurry up and press the button already. All right, I'm mixing my words a lot recently. It's because I'm trying to talk fast because I want to get through this. I say that, but I still stop and talk to everyone. I don't know. I feel like I have to. It's like an obligation. There's no way this door will open. Not when the chain is on the other side. With the feeling of resignation, I press the button. What? What? I thought we were like on different floors or something. Hey, hey. Why did it open? Impossible. 
Where did the chain go? Hold it. That's not the only thing that's strange. Oh? That's right, there's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. So... What do you mean, huh? Hey, hey! Doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Well, duh, we already knew that. When we were inside Grape Tower. Oh! That's what you're saying! How is that possible? That's not possible! We chose rubes and everything! What?! So here's what I'm getting from this. The, the elevator didn't go up or down or anything. All it did was spin. That's literally all it did. And then we come out and we go into this hallway. It's the same hallway and it's the same room, which is why we see this in the same direction. But how, how could we have all stayed in separate rooms? That doesn't make any sense at all. What's going on? His body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. Is it a projection? Or... I don't know. If we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door we walked in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nicobar's body in front of the door to the Grape Hall? Hey, hey! Much that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Um. Body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered the Great Paul. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Great Tower shifted to the opposite side. But how's that possible? The final dead room and and the, the guest rooms that we were staying in. What's going on? Rotated 180 degree. Is that what the elevator Maybe. Let me think about this. The room rotated along with the elevator. Or, no. But then where'd the chain go? I'm thinking about this now. So if the elevator rotated 180 degrees... Um, what does that mean? And you come back and walk into the same door, unless everything else rotated as well unless the elevator didn't move at all the elevator didn't move at all that's got to be it everything else moved that's what's happening okay i guess if that's the case then it makes sense it still doesn't explain though where the uh chain went can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees but is that really what this means? It's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. Mystery so great they could drastically affect the outcome of this case. The chains. Where are they? Might have to rethink this. Wait, to finally rethink how we've been approaching this case. What the hell's going on? I don't get it at all. Strange feeling in towers has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And then of course there's the, the, um, the final dead room. Man. What the balls? And the chain's been updated in your handbook. Let's check it. So we got, um... The chain. A chain is wrapped around the handles of the door of the back of the Grape Tower. For some reason, the killer was able to enter the tower from the Strawberry Hall. Possibly? You don't know that. Though I guess it's possible. Broken door now found under the tipped over pillow. The screws into the base are pulled out, and there's some scratch marks on the door itself. Nor up, not itself. Bleh. Regardless of whether you enter from Grape Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Necromar's body, the tipped over pillar, the oil stains, and even the disassembled parts cosmetically changed, I looked exactly the same. The greatest memories, m mystery is the chain. Where the hell did the chain go? Even if. Everything but the elevator and the center room rotated, and it all went around 180 degrees. That's understandable. It still doesn't explain how on earth um, the chain disappeared on the door we entered in through. Alright, let's keep going. I'm excited. I don't know what's going on. I don't have a clue who the killer is either. This is great. I see. 
And I got to play as... And I got to play as Nagato and everything? This is really looking like it's gonna be my favorite case. Sorry, sorry Nakamaru. No, no hard feelings. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> Just as I thought, it was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, you already knew about this mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you investigate yourself first? See? The door at the far back with the picture of the grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there? There's a clue on the door? Oh boy. First, let's talk to everybody. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I feel it. Remnants of the winds of hell. How I've missed you. Fine. It appears that the netherworld is uh, behind this occurrence. Fortunately for humans, the portal created by the demon's power was too small, so it existed in this realm for only a brief second. Listen well. But the portal's impact managed to dislodge the chain, and it was sucked into the portal as it closed shut. That is the truth behind the chain's disappearance. I wish. You have a bad habit of- oh. See? Why are you so negative now? What happened? I liked it when you were all- Hope! Oh! Yeah. Hey, hey. Was it really okay to come here? Still, I'm starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you sure? I think. Well, I still don't get it. Wish you'd at least say things with a bit more confidence. Hey, 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 hey! It opened? Why did Nekamara move? Even the parts carefully arranged all moved too. What's that mean? Able to go inside from Strawberry Hall? This doesn't make any sense. Hey, hey! Where'd the chain go? Don't know either. Hmm. What if the chain was rigged to automatically fall from the door open? Even though it fell off, where'd the chain disappear to? There wasn't anything in front of the door when it opened. Hmm. Sucked into the door. It's not possible, huh? Maybe this definitely doesn't make any sense. You're telling me. Do you have a minute? Might have figured out the reason behind the change of appearance. Shoot. I'm all ears for every idea. Perhaps what made this in incomprehensible phenomenon possible is... Well? Magic. Mind freak. What? Huh? Mind freak. Um. I'm sorry, Sonya. I have no idea what you're talking about. And soda cans? Or no. Damn it. You're not soda cans. Sorry. Free Hiko. Mix some people up now. Yeah, oh, it was that puzzle. It's all its fault. And I'm getting discombobulated now. What the hell's going on? Where'd the chain go? Not just that. It looks like you're totally protecting this. What does that mean? It means he knew. But why did he know? I don't know. Let's check the door. It's the door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doors is gone. It's like the screws came out with it. The door... In other words, the doorknob under Nekamaru. In other words, the killing probably happened in Strawberry Hall, quote-unquote, as it were. Intriguing. Does that mean for sure a guy's the killer? Not necessarily. But we'll see. Now then. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See, the screws came out with it, right? And the door next to Nekamaru's body came off the door to Grey Paw. That's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? Broken doorknob is not in your handbook. What? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue would change everything. Oh really, I bet you already know the clue or something. Um, doorknob, broken doorknob. Doorknob found under the tipped over pillow. The screws on the base are pulled out, and there are some scratch marks on the knob itself. One of the doorknobs from the far back, back door of Strawberry House was missing. This doorknob was originally attached to that door. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved. This is everything will link together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. Oh? What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagato probably won't give me an answer. So it'd be just a waste of time to ask. Does it mean we have to do the final dead room? That'd be silly to do it again. So what does this mean? Where did the chain go? That's extremely intriguing. And who's the killer? I don't have a clue! This is amazing! It appears that it's time for the class trial! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Oh, don't say that. You're cool. Man, I 
know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. No ditching. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. I was looking forward to a fun-loving side. Oh, well. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Uh, you know, your weird attitude is kind of similar to Nagito's weird attitude. I wonder what's up with that. Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial. Hey, hey. But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it. You're right. We can't do anything unless we go to this building. Hmm. Yes? Um. Connie, did something happen? Hey, hey. Is it smelling again? Or no, hearing this time again. Here's something. Hey, hey. What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off chalk, your surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then it suddenly appeared before us. Whoa! Whoa! Hi there! Um, yep, totally. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Um, Seems that way. All right. I'm gonna go! Hold on, Nekumar, I'll make sure I avenge you. Jeez, you're pathetic. At least be a little cautious, it's obviously a trap. It appears you cannot escape. I detect this sense of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside. It's nearly showtime! How interesting! If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart! <laughs> um. Now, we shall get moving as well. Yep. You're right. Uh. It's annoying, but if Miss Sign is going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Damn it! But it's so damn annoying! I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everybody went into Monokuma Rock. Until I was the only one left. When I was about to take a step forward, we're the same. Huh? The same step ladders. What? Yuta was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monokuma Rock. Other than the small movement of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Whoa. You and I are just step ladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. Oh. Damn it. But it wasn't. There's no hope amidst all this killing. Oh? Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? But why are you thinking like this all of a sudden? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrifice others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? So what are you saying now? Let me reread some of that. Um, prayer to sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope be born. Always be the talent, survive, be true hope. But it wasn't. There's no hope amidst all this killing. Where's he going with this? There's no way I'm going to accept that. Oh well, it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. A novel? Um... Didn't know you were into mystery stuff. The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, she's the serial killer, right? <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer, of course. The story is written carefully to the reader. The story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a pro projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? I think they're cool. What are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. Can't comment on books I've never read before. As long as they're not too obvious, but also make perfect sense in hindsight, it's kind of hard to pull off, but if you can, it's the best, you know, it's the best twists. You know, you, it's hard, it's very hard to see them coming. But in hindsight, they make perfect sense. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. Ugh! <laughs> but, I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? 
You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways we're similar, but maybe the difference is what's making me so emotional. Oh? Enough already! I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else? <laughs> Reserve Corps students are so full of themselves! <laughs> And Yido's chilling laugh continues as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Seriously, though, what's up with him? Why is he... Um... Why is he being condescending toward everyone? I don't really get it. Why not just me? Maybe it's, um... One, one possibility. I'm the killer this time around. That's why he told me that. I'm the killer, and the reason he's mad this time is because... Um, someone who has no real hope at all is trying to be hopeful. Then again, if he knew that, he'd probably be like, he's not real hope, and say it from the beginning. Also, we're the main character, so that'd be really plot twisty. Um, but other than that, what could be the reason for his condescension? Because he's afraid that eventually I'll be the surviving hope, like he was hoping I would be, and now he's like, no way? I don't know, maybe that's it. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. The elevator shook violently as it descended to at an ever-increasing speed. Hey. We're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad. It reminds me how efficient the elevator in the funhouse was. Well, yeah. It's probably true. The elevator continued to shake, and descended deeper and deeper, and suddenly, it stopped like it always does, and the door opened. Well, now. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. Yeah, I love the design. They're much better than they were in the first game. In the first game, I was like, eh, they're alright. This game, much better. You've stepped up your game, Monokuma. I, I approve. It's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. <laughs> so sad, my chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, come on now. Don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Now I'm really angry. Otherwise, I'll roll a dice based on the result. I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. What? <laughs> Great, that'd be amazing. Hey. What an extreme punishment! Now then. Let's get on with it once again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a move on, boys and girls! And so it begins. I guess this is the part where I should make my prediction of who I think the killer is. Usually I do that when we're at Monokuma Rock, but this time it was a little weird. Um, yeah. I don't have a solid prediction. In the first case, I was like, Teru Teru, maybe Fuyuhiko, and Nagito is definitely suspicious. In the second case, I was thinking, Soda Can's hardcore, but uh, other than that, Fuyuhiko seems too obvious, was one thing I think I said, and kind of turned it out to be M, sort of. Um, what else was there? Hyoko was too obvious. Pekko was on my mind, but it was like one of those meh things. Um, case three... Me caught all the way, you guys remember that. Soda Cans was like second place, but not really. Um, and now this case. Soda Cans is up there because he knows how to mess with technology. Other than that, I know it can't be Nagito, because we've already seen from his point of view. Um, unless, you know, they're saying, oh, Nagito is the killer this time. Get it? They did it from his point of view, but they were clever. But I don't think so. Um, um, Fuyuhiko? I don't think so. I think... I have a feeling he'll live to the end. Chiaki, I have a feeling, will live to the end. That leaves Sonya, Akane, Gundam, and Soda Cans. I think it's one of those four for sure. But which one? I don't know. Hopefully it's Akane. More likely it'll be one of the guys, but don't know for sure. Hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. So I guess to be to be final, my, my guess this time is Soda Cans. I guess. Or maybe Akane. I... I'm gonna say Akane. You know what? I'm gonna go with my gut, as Akane would say. I'm gonna say it's Akane. So we can in second place. Anyways, uh, let's do it. 
The curtain of the fourth class trial is about to open. Nekamaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. Or Mekamaru, as we call him now. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. Even when he was a robot. He sacrificed his body to protect the Kame. His appearance changed drastically because of that. He still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form... Mechamaru's killer. Is one of us. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. Ah, considering the, sur the starvation thing, I mean, it was either that or everyone dies. So, I mean, when you look at it that way, like, somebody had to go. Like, I don't think Monokuma would have let us all die unless he was. I you really can't say at this point. I don't know. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Mekomaru, the person who betrayed their friends, I will never, ever forgive them! And so, this life-threatening trial, building with hope and despair, has begun!